Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Hadassah and today, as you can see, it's a little bit different. We are going to be looking at my top five favorite websites where I go to buy designer for less. So as you can see, we're going to start off with Fashion File. And I know a lot of people are starting to feel some type of way about Fashion File right now because they do sometimes have pieces that are above retail. So you might as well get them out of the store. But I do think they are still an excellent website to also find major deals. And then they're also a one-stop shop. Like you can buy here, you can sell here, and they'll even take your bag back after a few months for a certain percentage. So, I mean, you really can't lose. So, let's see what they have. Let me just scroll down. Oh, these are their featured items. And like I said, you can also sell here. But I'm going to go to handbags and let's just look at the new arrivals just to see. So right off the bat, I mean, they have a limited edition Speedy. That's not a bad price. They have this Speedy that's kind of close to retail, but still under. You have a Chanel bag, 3000. I'm not about to buy it, but that's still lower than retail, especially with the price increases lately. Oh, this Alma GM is gorgeous. Also, this is a good deal for Chanel. I mean, y'all, look at this Birkin. One day, not today, <laughs> but this is 100% not a bad price at all. I mean, look. Look at this. This is less than $500. Keep scrolling down. Oh, this is really pretty. And under $1,500 for a Chanel tote. I mean, you can't, you can't be that. You really can't. This Fendi Can I bag, only $1,600. They have a Kelly for less than $7,000. Like you just don't find prices like that in the retail market. Ooh, an Effendi tote. This is really cute and less than $400, y'all, come on. So this is without a sale. These are just the regular prices. Now, if you click on here and scroll down, you can set it up to where you can get a discount alert. So eventually after, I'm not sure what the amount of days are, but Fashion File, will start discounting their items. And so you can sign up here so that you can receive an alert and get an even better deal on these items. So I'm gonna actually show you now my absolute favorite place to go on this website. You go to discount it and then shop our outlet. Y'all, the deals they have on here are ridiculous. Now outlet bags, some of them will be in a worse condition, but a lot of them aren't. So you have this Chanel bag, only $850. Celine mini luggage, $750. Oh, look at this Montserrat GM, it's less than a thousand. Looks like it's in pretty good condition too. So yeah, these are going to be a little bit more worn, but like I said, not all of the time. I bought a Fendi bag that was in really good condition for less than $200 from the outlet. So if you haven't checked out that video, I'll link it above. They have this Hermes Evelyn, $18.95. They have shoes, I mean, whatever you want. This Chanel medallion tote, only $8.20. I have a lot of really, really nice items on here. So I would definitely, um, this one, this is something that is in worse condition. You can kind of see here, it looks like a water spot. So I'm not sure if they set that down in water or something spilled inside of it. So 
you have to be wary of items and also that's probably that might be something you could get repaired by the leather surgeons or a company like that but otherwise a lot of these items are still I mean look at this Celine bag for only $6.55 they're still in really really great condition so definitely check out fashion file and check out the fashion file outlet so my number two favorite designer website to buy items for less is actually eBay. Yep, I know some people don't trust eBay, but honestly, it's just about being smart <laughs> with where you're looking. If you're not, if this is your first Louis Vuitton bag, definitely only buy from someone reputable. For example, I'm going to show you guys. I bought my, this is obviously some of my favorites, so just search like Louis Vuitton women's bags and handbags. But I'm going to put in Louis Vuitton bucket. And usually, I don't even mess with the bidding. Honestly, I'm going to be a little bit more specific. I'm going to say bucket GM. Okay, that gave me, I don't mess with the bidding. Usually I just do straight buy it now. And what I would look for is this badge right here. If they don't have this badge and this is your first time buying, you're not super familiar, I wouldn't really mess with it right off the top because they don't have like the reviews and the history of having authentic bags. For example, I'm just gonna do low to high. Okay, so we have this bag for 188. And like I said, you have to look at the condition. So how I got my bucket bag actually, I bought it off of eBay and I found one where the patina wasn't as dark and something you know like a nice honey patina some of these are really really dark these look pretty nice and then louis vuitton will replace the interior because all of the bucket bags are going to have really bad interiors yeah they'll have like that peeling going on on the inside louis vuitton will replace that for you for only 150 dollars so therefore you got an almost new bag for less than $500. I mean, you can't beat that with a stick. You really can't. Another thing I like to do just to, I don't know, discover new bag styles sometimes is to just type in Louis Vuitton women's bags and handbags. And then, like I said, buy it now. And I don't know, let's look at shoulder bags. <clears throat> So some of these are gonna be fixer uppers. Ooh, no, I know what I wanna look at. If you are looking for, I was looking for a multicolor balloon, obviously. They have multicolor items. Look at these prices. I mean, these are less than a thousand right here. And also one thing that eBay does is they do authenticate some of their items. Not, not everything, I'm not sure how the process works, but some of them are authenticity verified and you can actually shop specifically for this and it will still be a really great price so i definitely recommend ebay to find major designer deals third site is actually italist and while it's popped up here i'll mention it rakuten Guys, I say this on like every single one of my videos. Please, if you do not have it yet, please sign up for Rakuten. You are missing out on major, major money. I'll leave a link down below. You can sign up, get some money back on your first purchase. Save yourself some money. Okay, so I have a specific bag I want you guys to look at so how Italist works it's different boutiques and they're all just listed on this one site 
So Italis is not a store itself. It's, it's kind of like a designer eBay, I guess. Maybe you can say like it's different sellers, but they're not private sellers. They're actual designer boutiques. So Italis is good for honestly everything. Like if you want to get shoes for less, clothes for less. Of course, I'm going to look at bags because that's usually what I'm shopping for. So, <clears throat> I mean, look at this Chloe bag. This is only thirteen hundred. You can see now, nah, Bottega. These Bottega bags are very expensive, but they definitely have them for less on here. And there was a specific Saint Laurent bag that I did want to show you guys that was like massively cheaper on here versus on the website. Or maybe if I type it in, that would work better. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, this St. Laurent bag right here, I'm just going to show you quickly what the price is on the actual St. Laurent website. So, this is $18.90 on the St. Laurent website. And then we go back to Italis, 16, 13. So you can save from two to $500 on this bag just by shopping at Italis. And also get some money back because like I said, Rakuten. Actually, they don't have it on here anymore, but they actually had this I think it was this one and it was only a thousand dollars so somebody already snatched that up definitely so you saved almost nine hundred dollars on Italis versus the retail price I mean you honestly can't beat that either I know I keep saying that but you cannot beat these deals okay and now I'm gonna show you a site that I just recently discovered and that is Gaudenzi. I'm not sure Gaudenzi Boutique. And I'm gonna show you another specific bag that the discount on here is ridiculous. So Saint Laurent has the Becky bag. And let's look at these prices. So these are all right here, probably at the same boutique because they're all the same price, $13.60. And then you can see that the black one is $1,700. And so now if we go back to the St. Laurent website and search Becky, y'all, $23.90. That's the price, $23.90. And what did they have it for again? $13.60. That's $1,000. That is honestly $1,000 that you save off of the retail price. So if you want to get this from St. Laurent, you can. I don't know why you would <laughs> because doesn't matter how much money you have, you can take that $1,000 that you saved and spend it on another bag. That's what I would do. But yeah, and even the black ones, $1,700 versus $2,390, that's still almost $700 that you're saving. And this is without a sale, without any codes. That's what this whole video is about not catching a sale. I can do a separate video on 
you know, where to find the best sales, how to find sales and all that jazz. But this is just regular price, no coupon code needed. These are the everyday prices for these items. So they are always a lot lower. And then the fifth site I've already clicked here, okay, is Louisa Via Roma. And I like Louisa Via Roma for clothing because from what I found, their bags are usually the same as retail unless you, unless there's some kind of promotion going on or something like that. And lately I've kind of been trying to get into at least designer graphic tees. Well, they're not graphic tees, but designer t-shirts. So we'll look at Balmain, for example, because I really like their t-shirts and I will sort by low price and boom, there we go. There's a T right there. That's only 198 marked down from 265 you have some leggings here. You have this cute one with the button detail. And also another brand that they have deals on often is Versace. I mean, look at the prices here. This black and pink one is actually really cute. I might have to get this one. But it's 185, 206. They have some cycling shorts for 250. So yeah, I would definitely recommend them if you want designer clothing for a lower price than retail. So yeah, those are my top five sites just to recap. First was Fashion File and Fashion File Outlet. Next was eBay. Then Italist, Gaudenzi Boutique, and then Louisa Villaroma. And like I said, always do your comparisons. Definitely do your research. Don't just take my word for it. These are my personal favorite sites to use that have worked well for me. And I just wanted to share my tips because that is one thing that I really like to do is find deals and find designer items for less. So I just want to share that with everyone else. I know some of these sites you may already have been familiar with, but some you may not have. And if you have any questions, always feel free to message me on my Instagram. It's at HP Life and Style. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Please be sure to leave a like down below, comment, and do not forget to subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you guys in the next video.